Hello, beautiful souls. Happy Monday or whenever you're watching this. I posted a link to the top. It's the registration link for the activation tomorrow. I've had lots of people reaching out to me and asking when and what and where and about the activation. So there you go. Come join us tomorrow. These activations are so awesome. They catapult us, including myself, into that next step. We're clearing out, we're clearing out, and when we clear out a bunch of muck from our system, we need to infuse light into that hollow space we've left behind from the clearing. Otherwise, those old patterns, old habits, all that gunk will come back. So if you're looking for some balance in your life, if you're looking for just a higher awareness, you know, getting more in touch with your third eye, getting more in touch with your intuition, come join us. It's going to be awesome. I'm joining you from my basement office right now. I just wanted to talk about, you know, coming into that higher consciousness and what it means. To me, you know, this is my story. This is my way of teaching. And I want to add a disclaimer in that nobody is right, nobody's wrong. It's whatever resonates with you. It's whatever works for your system. We are all different. We are all beautiful and unique. And whatever resonates with your journey and your path, please allow that to be your body, your consciousness, your soul knows what's right for you. Whether it's, you know, reading, whether it's meditation, whether it's just coming back to yourself in silent time, being in nature, cards, um, you know, visualization, art. There's so many different ways that spirit likes to speak to us. You know, animal signs, totems, whether it's different weather out there, anything can be a sign. I'm very attached, or not attached. I'm very um, in tune with numbers. So I'll see repeating number patterns. I'll see numbers all around me. And I know what they mean now because I've researched them. So when I see certain patterns of numbers, I know I'm on the right space. You might see an animal, you might see a flower, you might see different cars drive by. You might have somebody say something to you. I've had so many times where somebody's mirrored back to me what I've been thinking. And it's like, that is exactly what I need. We are all telepathic. We are all connected. We are all in this space together. You know, we're droplets of water in the ocean moving as one. And it is so important for us to remember that and come back to that knowing um, when we give our power away, you will feel depleted. We're, we've just turned, come in, come through this new moon in Gemini and we're in Gemini season now. So you may see a lot of disharmony come up in Gemini season. It's sort of like the time to shake shit up and nothing, you know, Gemini's get such a bad rap. Gemini's are beautiful souls like anybody else. And our sun sign does not make us who we are. We have so many different planets in our charts, if that's what you believe. And it's about that balancing of the light and the dark. That's what the Gemini is all about. It's the twins. And we must all come back to that. We all have moments where we need to really soul search and come back to ourselves. When we give our power away, the world around us right now wants us to give our power away. It wants us to blame other people, other circumstances outside of ourselves. It wants us to be victims of our circumstance. And we are not going to do that. I'm not going to let you do that. If you're watching this video right now, I'm not going to let you do that. You are going to stand in your power, be faithfully steadfast, be knowing that all of the right signs and synchronicities and guidance is coming your way. Open up to receive it. That is the key. We are always asking, you know, for things, but many of us aren't open to receive. We're very closed off in our heart center. We're very in our logical mind, in our ego mind, and we're not allowing what's meant for us to come to us. So this is why it's important to come back to ground in nature. Grounding can be walking barefoot outside. It can just be being outside and touching, touching nature, touching a tree will get, will flush your system out, will ground you to that tree and to the, to the earth. Whether it's sitting in meditation, whether it's just coming back to yourself and knowing. But yeah, I just wanted to share that today and the knowing that you you have everything you need with you right now and whether you're having an amazing day or you're going through some struggles right now, we all have what we need to get to the place that we're wanting to go. We don't have to reach to others. We don't need others to fill our cup. We are here to unconditionally love and fill our own cups. And tuning into source, tuning into God, nature, 
you know, creator, universe, whatever word you want to say, is the first step to coming back to self. Because with that, we can become infused with that energy and we can share it out. So a little trick that I learned is just to like quiet your mind and allow that energy to flow through. And you want it to flow out your chakras and out your energy centers. What we do in daily life is we like to pull it off people by needing attention, by needing affirmation, by needing, 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 needing different things. And we end up pulling in off of other people in the 3D realm, which is not always a bad thing. However, if you think you're pulling gunky energy off of people, whether we think it's good or not, we're going to filter it through our own system and it's going to get caught in our energy. So you hear things like people talking about energy vampires. I don't believe energy vampire is a, is a thing that's being a victim of our circumstance. We have to take our power back by being in control of our energy. If something doesn't feel right, remove your energy from it. So that means remove your consciousness from it. So that means clearing yourself and pulling back and being with yourself and becoming sovereign once again. This whole journey is about sovereignty, energetic mindfulness, sovereignty, and being your own creator. Anyway, I love you. I'm going to see so many of you tomorrow at the activation. Um, I ask if you enjoy my messages to support me on Patreon, if you'd like, it would be amazing. I have so many more activations and light language healings and all that great stuff on my Patreon to share with you. And I'll do card readings on there. I just started it last week. So I'm just starting to fill it up with beautiful energy. So if you'd like that comment below, I'll send my Patreon link and I'm just going to keep creating and sharing. And, you know, I've had some people push back and be like, things should not cost money. Well, honestly, this is for me to be able to create and create freely. I still have to be able to pay my bills, right? And it's a beautiful thing when we can help each other. Like the teachers that I work with, I don't expect them to give me their teaching for free. I put everything out there for everybody. And if you choose to work with me further, that's amazing. If not, that is fine too. And if you'd like to dig a little deeper, that's where my Patreon's for. That's what my groups are for. That's what my community is for. That's what my YouTube's for. So Becky Lee, Soul Alchemy on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook, my Facebook page, and Becky Lee, I don't even know what my Patreon name is because it's still new, but you can look up Becky Lee, I don't think it's Soul Alchemy, I think it's, um, it's Collective Consciousness or something, I named it more after this Facebook community, I should know this, but I just wanted to come on and share that, and I love you, and if you're just coming on now, go back and watch this video, it's great, have the most beautiful day, and I love you, bye!